hi so i'm here to do um a video it is going to be my updated k-pop collection for 2016 so this is all the stuff that i've bought in so far in 2016 every time i have gone back to college i do an updated video so yes the only difference for this time if it's like really bright, it's because I turned off the lights and it was dark. So I put on my flash from my phone and it actually doesn't look too bad. So you know what? Yes. Um, anyways. Yes, this is going to be different from any other collection update video I've ever done before because I'm not going to show you each and every single album and piece of merchandise that I own because I really don't have the time for that anymore because there's way too many albums so basically I'm going to have a link in the description box to the latest um collection video that I did which I think was back in the beginning of the year yeah I think that's it so you can watch that these are the stuff these are the albums that I've bought since then um I didn't think I would buy so many albums, but I guess I did. But you know what? I'm not buying as many at the moment right now. The only things that I'm going to plan on buying are the Lotto albums, Newest, and Infinite when they come back, which is supposed to be in a few months. So, Other than that, no one else is getting my money except if Seventeen comes back or anything like that. But for now, we is all ta-da good. So anything you see here is what it is yeah so let's get on with the collection and at the end i'm gonna show you like the photo cards and stuff that i got in the albums there is actually quite a hefty stack that i'm like whoa um yeah so i guess you could say i went a little bit crazy so yeah i definitely wasn't planning to buy this many albums but i guess it just turned out this way so hold on real quick let me move the photo cards. Where should I put these? Let's put them up there. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Wait. Yes. All right. Let's begin. So it my shelves is organized. IU, top boy groups, top girl groups, everybody else, and then Infinite and X will have their own shelves because there's way too many of their albums and merchandise and stuff for them to be elsewhere. So first off, I have Newest with their fourth mini album. Q is, they're coming back really soon and I'm so excited. It's going to be great. I can already, I can already feel it. So Newest, yeah. And then I bought the 17 2016 calendar. It was not that expensive. And, you know, I've never bought in something like this before. And it was 17 Because EXOs are way too expensive. Infinites, way too expensive. I ain't got no money for that. So this is just the calendar. It's not like... And it has a planner. It's not like a season's greeting type thing where it costs like 50 bucks. <clears throat> then we have... The first mini, the first mini, the first full length album from Seventeen. We have the love version and we have the letter version. I am complete Seventeen trash, so every version I must buy. And then we have this special edition of the repackage, which is so huge. Oh, since I'm probably going to end up forgetting. Where does that one go? Yeah, we, we see we already got problems. I got S Scoops' this photo Polaroid. Oh my gosh. Well, you are not in the right place, boo. A photo card was out of place. <clears throat> then we have the um, Young Forever by BTS. I got the night version. This was a K-Mall exclusive. So it was really cheap. Which is great because it's expensive. And then I have Got Seven's first album, Identify. This is the regular edition which is the one i like it's very glossy and nice and yeah um whatever. and then i have got seven's um mini album flight log departure which mini album is this this is the fifth mini album and i have i think it's the rose quartz version 
that was my phone. I've since silenced it. Goddamn bitches. And it was, and I, it picked it up and no one answered when I said hello. I was like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> yes, this album is great. I'm going to say that. This is the version that I wanted because I'm going to do a quick, a quick, a quick little show. I fucking love this photo of JB. Where are you, boo? And you're going to think I'm like so weird because this is like the reason why I love this album. But I don't know. Okay, where the fuck is the photo? This is really trying me right now. And you know what? My patience, don't do it. This photo. I don't know why. I just think he looks so beautiful and so gorgeous. And then Junior as well is looking amazing. So I'm happy that Catch Up sent me this version. I didn't give a specified preference. But in the end, after seeing numerous unboxings, this is the album version that I like. Then we have Vix with their... Fifth single, Zellos. Oh, my mom bought me this for my birthday. It's very nice. And the photos in there are crisp quality. Love it. And then we have BAP with their mini album, Carnival, which is such a good mini album. Like, if you can't get the special edition, get the normal. Because the songs is so good. I, I, I love the songs. I love the songs. Then we have Monster X with their mini album, The Clan Part 1. I have both versions. Um, and they're sh um, the M-Wave Special signed albums. So this is the found version, which is my favorite version because the photos in here are like too gorgeous. Like, woo Hey, young one. I got Shonu on the cover. Yes. And then for the Lost version, I got Minyux. Yes. Minyux, baby. And then Tiffany, my girl Tiff, made her solo debut with I Just Wanna Dance the Night Away. Ah, such a good album, y'all. Such a good album. And then my other girl, Unji, made a solo debut as well with the first mini album. I thought it was called something else, but I guess it's not. And this is seriously so good, so good, so good. Check it out if you haven't, please. And then I recently, this year, have been really getting into this group. It's Oh My Girl and I have Pink Ocean. I don't know when I will buy the other two, but that won't be for a while. Liar, liar, liar is so good. And so is um, one step, two step. The whole album is amazing. And then my favorite debut of 2016 goes to Astro. We have the first mini album, Spring Up. And I didn't know this until I watched this person's video. I don't remember her username. But <clears throat> she um said that they were doing like a season series. And I didn't think about that at first. But now it makes sense. Spring Up. And then the second mini album is called summer vibes so they're probably gonna have a fall one and a winter one which i'm like oh astro put in whack baby i don't know i just think their music is really catchy really fun and really nice and moonbin and unwoo have become my otp and they are so rude so this is my like normal version that i got from catch up and then of course they did an m wave special which is why i didn't buy summer vibes because they did an m wave special so that's coming eventually but here is all the members signed the lovely Estero album. And you know what? This is the first. This is when I appreciate the um, the signatures on paper because it actually turned out really nice when I put the tape over it. Because sometimes it kind of look a little busted. Then we got Dean with his album 130 Mood Treble. And this is seriously so good. If you have not listened to it, you're doing yourself a very big injustice because this album is a banger. Dean, yes, and then we have Yoja Chingu with their album Snowflake. This is my first girl G friend album. It's so good. Rough is such a good song, and the photos in here are so pretty. I got this from Music Choice LA when I went to the EXO concert. So there we go. And I do have a version of 
LOL. It's the Locks of Love version coming from M Wave. So all of them have signed it and I'm loving it. It'll be here eventually. And then my other girl, like all my homegirls, have been releasing the solos. And I've been fucking here for it. Without with long ado. Long waiting. It is Jessica's with love, Jay. You can fly. Me and Jessica, that's a win automatically. Uh. Yeah, I'm in. Oh, never mind. I was about to start singing Alicia Keys, Girl on Fire. Because I was going to say, yeah, I'm in the ghost and I'm doing stunts with her. <laughs> but that's a different song. <laughs> then we have Twice with their second mini album, Page Two. Um, Cheer up. I love that song. And the other songs in here are pretty good as well. Like, um, Precious Love, Sojin Khan Sarang. That's a good song. Come on Talk. That's another good one. Woohoo. Headphone soul. That's my other favorite. That's, that's my second favorite off of this. Cheer up. It's my first. And this I got. Lemon's version. And you know what? Funny story. This was like the only versions that they were selling online on Music Plaza. With the like cover. And I chose the mint version. And after I bought this. They didn't have any more of this on the website. So. Grooving. Hey. And then we have. The other album I bought at Music Choice LA. When I went to the EXO concert, it is Uptention Bravo, which this is a very big album. It's paper, which is like, ooh, but it's a good album. I don't know, but I really found myself obsessed with Yogi Yogi Butara, Catch Me. It's a really nice song, and this album is pretty good. Like, Nadu, Ditto, that's a good one. It's a good album. Um... I really like their first mini album too, but not as much. But their one song on there called Come With Me, that song is so... Ooh, yes! My bias. Excuse me. My bias, I would say, is whooshing. I ate some kimchi spaghetti, y'all, so... Yeah. Anyways, so yes. Now we're going to move on to Excellent Infinite before I show you the photo cards. And... Seriously, I bought so much Axel these months, it's not even funny. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna try not to make this video too long, but you know, I always talk a lot. So first off, we're gonna start with some fans. I told you I was gonna show fucking everything, so bitch, I'm showing fucking everything. I got this BAP fan from Music Plaza when I bought the 17 Repackage album. Um... I got this Chen Yo fan from the Esprit um, photo book. Um, this one. I got this fan, which came when I bought the EXO light stick version. Too. And then my friend, who I went to the K-pop concert with. Y'all know K-pop and Moo. He made me this Baekhyun fan for my love of Baekhyun. And you know what? It is so gorgeous. So, yes. Alright, so we're gonna move on to all the infinite stuff I bought because there's a lot. Oh wait, extras. Music Plaza sent me this chewy standy frame thingy when I bought the um Swice album. And then they sent me this Suho one. I think when I bought the EXO one. Yeah, I think so. They sometimes send weird stuff for stuff when I'm like, wait, I just need to buy this group. They once sent me shiny stickers, I think, for an EXO album. But you know what? I'm not complaining because it's shiny. Okay, so Infinite first. Um, Angels 2014. She <clears throat> bought a version of Be Mine off of Amazon. She didn't know that it was this version, so she doesn't want it. She gave it to me. Love it. It's, it's the normal version, so. And then I completed my Infinite Korean collection, which is, yeah. I got the first mini. First Invasion. And then we have Songyu's first mini album, Another Me, with this tacky little trash bag. But, you know, I'm so much, tr I'm so trash that I can't even get rid of fucking trash. But that's how crazy it is. Yikes. And then, woo Long awaited release his first ever solo album right with two dots and this album is so 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 good 
at first I was really nervous because they didn't have every day on and I was like oh my god this is the song I fucking wanted but it's a bonus song it's not on the back with the tracks but it's on the album and you know my luck sucks so I got the white version I didn't get the gold and black and all that <sighs> yeah I don't give a fuck talk about shitty packaging the fuck Really? And then we have two more singles of Be Mine. I have the Innocent version and the Pop Art version. I had some extra money when I was on Spring Break and I was like, why not buy them? So this one is missing a Dongwoo photo card. I mean Dongwoo picture postcard thingy. This one came with all of them and it came with two extras, which is why it is bulging because I got both... Hoya and Myungsu's extra things, which is like so amazing because then my biases. Like Myungsu is the ultimate. Oh my god! Sorry, this I was like I have this where it's on my computer and it was opening up Skype. The fuck, the fuck. So it's all to the good. And then we have the second Japanese album for you. This came out in um 2015, but you know I was slow. So yeah, I got Nancy. Why don't they do fucking photo cards for the individual members? Like, that's bullshit, Willem. Get it together! And then K-Mall. Yeah, it's K-Mall. They did another special, and I got the Infinite Destiny in America. Which, you know what, bitch? Where the fuck was your bubble wrap? Because this is what happened to my fucking DVD. Because K-Mall wanted to be cheap as a bitch. Both of the CD holders is broken, so they are loose as a motherfucking caboose. Ratchet. That's why came on. You need to get it together. And my fucking tracking number for this bitch said it was in fucking Puerto Rico. Bitch, I live in California. I'm damn sure I don't live in Puerto fucking Rico. And then we have the Myungsu photo book, which is this, which I'm not going to pronounce. And it's, it's so glorious, y'all. Yeah. It's so good. And then I have the Star One magazine, volume 53, for the August. And you know what? Yeah, BTS on the cover. I, I, I love you, BTS, but I didn't buy it for you. I bought it for my boo. The Myung to the Sue. Yes. Now we're moving on to EXO. All right, so for EXO, oh, hot damn, my bitch went a little crazy. I decided this year that I was going to buy the EXO M versions and try to get more photo cards because I am really ratchet and my camera wanted to fuck up, so, bitch. Anyways, what we have first is light stick one, light stick two. Oh my gosh. And I wouldn't have bought this if this one had... If I, I wouldn't have bought this one if this one hadn't broken when I was at the concert. I don't know what the fuck happened. A bitch was fucking pissed. But, yes. I have both light sticks because I'm fucking trash. And I just realized I have to do something. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm never prepared for this bullshit. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm a hot ass mess. Ugh. I had to get the photo card out this bitch. Okay, little fucking envelope. You're not that special, so yeah. Deuces. Let's move on now. <laughs> so I bought these two. These are um they were new off of um Amazon. No ebay they weren't that expensive so you know it's like snatch so i got the chenyal version lebekian version because they are my two biases and all of it so so gorgeous um i don't think they're gonna do another japanese single for a while because this is literally has been it for japanese singles i think maybe because it wasn't good so <laughs> we'll see <laughs> And then I wanted to do, like, a completion of Exodus where I bought one for each member. But you know what, bitch? I ain't got the time. So I'm buying a Chinese version and then I'm done. I'll have five fucking versions. And, you know, that's tempting for me to buy the other five. But I'm going to restrain. So I bought 
Kyungsoo's version off of Cat Shop, which that was good because I paid normal price. Everywhere I looked, I could not find fucking Kai, so I bought it off of eBay, and it was way too expensive for what it's worth. It cost me like 30 bucks. But you know what? It's Kai. He's my fourth bias, so you know what? I spent the money on your ass. Be grateful. <sighs> and then I have the Love Me Dites Chinese version, which this album is pretty nice. I'm sounding Chinese. I like it. And then we have Overdose, which is the XOM version. Super shiny. And we have Miracles in December. So I'm only missing XOXO, Sing For You, and a, a copy of Exodus. And then I'm, 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 I'm fucking fine. And then we have Exoplanet, the X Solution, the DVD, which this is so, so good. Oh, it's amazing. And then we have XO. Yeah, the mama. Shitty ass packaging, y'all. Fuck that shit. And we have the two Chinese versions of Exact. I have the lucky one version and the monster. Y'all. It's some basic ass packaging, but you know what? I don't give no fuck. No, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. And then we have the lucky one Korean version. The lucky one, um... Monster one. Monster version Korean press and then we have the growl xom version and then fan made stuff i have the channel on air esprit photo book which is so glorious it's so glorious i've got this for 50 dollars on ebay from a person in california that's a good ass price because some shit is expensive same with the Almost Lover photo book. This one actually did come from Korea, but it cost me 50 bucks as well, free shipping on eBay. So you know what? I'm not going to buy it off of the actual fan site because those bitches are expensive from what I've seen. And I don't got no time for that. So I'll wait three years after this thing has been released and buy it off of eBay because I really don't give no fuck. All right. And then we have the XO Clusive W Korea magazine with Beckham's cover. I'm sorry, Channel, but you know, I had to only buy one and it had to be Beck because Beck is my girl. <clears throat> so now we're going to move on to photo cards because there was a fucking lot, which I was surprised. <laughs> but you know what? It's a pleasant surprise. Oh, freebies. I got this for free when I bought those two albums at Music Choice. Youngsu, it's so cute. Lovely. Okay. So for the big ones that were like not photo cards, because I actually bothered to put them bitches together, I have Kai's Snow Globe from Miracles in December. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, Kai. And then we have Bang Young Gook's Standy from Carnival. Isn't it adorable? It's it's so cute, y'all. So, moving on. There's a lot of shit. We're gonna do the bigs. So, got seven. My flight log ticket was JB and Junior. My other two biases after Jackson. And it's boarding class. And it's fucking first class. Right? This is first class? Yeah, first class. Because Junior is a presidential bitch. Why did I say that? I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm crazy. I got Sunyul, um for the chip in um, Bravo. And then I have V's Polaroid from Young Forever. I did not get that, that little extra card. I don't give a fuck. That shit pissed me off, but you know what? I'm over it. I have Nayan's 3D hologram card. Um, I don't know. These cards are ratchet. They aren't something I fucking care for. That's not what I mean. And then I have the Eights bookmark and Mingyu's bookmark from the Love and Letter album. It's very, very pretty. Ugh, yes. These are second bias, third bias. It works out in my opinion. And then, moving on to the next, we have Vernon and Hosh for the um two photo cards in the repackage. They're so cute, y'all, y'all. And then I have Kihyun's photo card 
for the Monster X albums, and I got Hyungwon as well. Hyungwon is, like, my second bias, tied with I Am, so I'm happy, because now I just need a Minyuk credit card, and I'm basically good. I'm fucking good. If I just bought a Minyuk and I bought a Juhon, I would have a photo card for each member, so whatever they do for the next album, hopefully I finally get those two, because then we be, we be all the way up. Oh, I'm so sorry. This I got from eBay. It was cheap. It's the JR Sleep Talking photo card. My bias. I don't know why, but I just think he is so fine. And I got this in the album for QS, where I almost busted my ass. <laughs> and then, what? Like, I'm so happy. I got Jackson's photo card in Floyd Log, so I got all three of my biases. Are we I'm fucking for real here? <sighs> He's such an adorable. And then I got Hong Bin for Zealous. Look at that boo. And then I got him Chan for Carnivals. I got Bang Him. I got Bang Him. Yes. And then I got this one for Tiffany's album. You know, I don't really like this photo card because I don't know. But yeah. Tiff. I'm not going to show the back. Well, should I? It's already too fucking late. So you know what? You're just going to have to deal. Jessica. Um, this is the photo card I got in the album. You know, I got two, so, you know, that's cool. They, like, were stuck together. Love it when that happens. And then I got this one for Unji. Her signature is so cute. Like, oh, girl, yes. It must take you forever to fucking sign autographs, though, but it's all worth it. And then I have Sunky, who is my bias for Oh My Girl, so I'm happy. And I got Yuju for G Friends album. Um, my bias is Unha. I've made a decision that it's her. I have four photo cards for Spring Up from Astro because yeah. Anyway, I got MJ. I, when did I get this one? I think I got this one originally. No. You know, I don't fucking remember, okay? All I know is I didn't trade for this one. And I wouldn't have. Because I'm that's not my favorite member. I'm so sorry, MJ. Your vocals is on point and you're sassy as fuck. But I traded Jinjin Jin for Unwoo off of someone from Tumbla. And then I got... What the fuck? Oh, I had another Moonbin. That's what happens. And you'll see. So this is the Moonbin photo card I got. I got a duplicate when I got the um, M-Wave version. So I traded it with k Papamu. And he got the moon bin and I got the Sanha because Sanha is my third favorite and this photo card is so cute. And then for twice, I got Dayun's page two, Mina's page two. These two are also like contending for bias. I don't know who is my bias yet. And then I got this group one. It's, it's cute. It's cute. Sanha, she's kind of contending for my bias spot as well. So, you know, whew. And then we have the infinite stuff that I got. I have this version of Vuyan's card. I think it's so cute. In the back. What a grease ball. What a fucking grease ball. He really put Najoahe. Uh, do you like me? Girl, I do. Or something like that. Wow. And then these are the stickers from Sungi's album. Pink and purple. Yes. And then this is the stack of photo cards I have for EXO. Because, you know, EXO is EXO. So in my Kai version of Exodus, I got Beckyon's photo card, which I was like, Ugh. So, because I already have it. So I traded with Sue because she wanted to complete the collection. And I got this lovely same photo card. Looking like a fuck boy, but it's all to the good because I... Would gladly take Sehun as a fuckboy if he were going to <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, that was really vulgar and I'm sorry, but you know what? We have our fantasies and that's one of mine. I got Dio's photo card for the um, Dio version of Exodus. I'm like, <laughs> don't take what I said like personal, okay? If that like really offended you, I'm so sorry, but we have D.O.'s photo card for the Love Me Right Chinese version <laughs> that just slipped out my fucking mouth these were the photo cards I got in the EXO exact albums Korean versions Zhumin for Lucky One Chanyeol for Monster how cool like the dual contrast 
And then I don't remember which one is which, but I got Chen and Dio for the Chinese versions. You know what, Chen? You look cute, so you can stay. Dio, you might gotta go, because that is... I don't know. Dio looks bland. He looks bland. He looks bland right there. He's just like... Like, that's it. Um, Love Me Right. I got Zoom. And I got Lay. These are too gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. And then my EXO exclusive magazine. I got this Back Your Nature Republic card from them. So, you know, that's cute. A little furry day. And then the light stick came with a photo card. Version 2 did. I got the group card, which is whatever. Mama XOM. I got the group card, which is so awesome. You know what? I like it. Like, oh! Chris, Luhan, Tao. Oh, my fucking life. And then I got the group card for the XOM growl. Holy shit, that's a lot of people. Chen, why is your back facing us? I didn't notice that. Okay, rude bitch. He gotta go. First off, resting bitch face. Yes, ma'am. Uh. And then I bought these two little picture poster postcard thingies of Baekhyun when I was in Music Plaza before the EXO concert. So cuteness. You know what? These things are only 1,000 won in fucking Korea. A bitch paid like four bucks each. <sighs> music Plaza trying to scam my ass. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. It's Music Plaza. Them bitches is always overpriced and shit. At the store, at the store, online, it's a little bit better. Okay, so that is everything that I've gotten since the beginning of this year that I have not showed you. Well, I've showed you, but not as all, like, collectively. Um, yeah, I still can't get over what the fuck I said about saying him. I feel so ratchet. Like, that was, like, like, I'd be ratchet and I'd be fine with it, but that was, like, way too ratchet for me. Like, even I'm starting to feel a little, like, hot and bothered by that, because, oh, Lord. If you guys like this video, it's probably long. I didn't think it was going to be this long, but, you know, I talk and talk and talk, and, you know, some people are probably like, oh, my God, bitch, shut the fuck up already. I don't know, but we're done. This is probably the last video you will see of me in this room. I don't think I'm going to do a room tour video. Like, this is basically all that's new. The Baekhyun slogan, what? The Baekhyun fan, fan thing that I got at the EXO concert for free. That you're my EXO EXO L O V E. That one. Um, Myungsoo's poster over there. Ooh, what else? Um, those two posters. That's about it, I think. I don't think there's anything that much that's new. Maybe the um, maybe I didn't have the um. Dio, Kai, Beckton, and Chaniel posters from The Lost Planet in my room when I did the last one. Yeah, I don't think I did. I don't remember. I don't care. You're not getting a room tour because there's not much that's changed and we be like fucking pointless. But yes, that is it. I'm done rambling. I will see y'all on the next video where I'll be in my room in school. I don't know what poster I'm going to bring. I'm probably going to bring the 17 poster because that thing was so... It's cute. It's really cute. Oh, yes. I'll see y'all later. Bye.